Hi Aries and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a six card spread for the 9th to the 15th of May. I do hope that this month so far has been treating you guys very, very well. If you would like to connect with me one-on-one, -on -one, my social media links, my website for all part reading packages are below. So let's give a good shuffle Aries. Let's see what you got. Okay, card number two. So this is going to be a six card spread, okay? The places include main goal, conclusion, strength, weakness, and what you can expect for May, okay? This upcoming week. This goes here. Two more cards for, all right, that card wants to really come out. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, Aries, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Sun card, also Leo. So definitely could be talking about a fire sign friend here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that really could be coming in your life this week and surprising you, okay? Surprising you with some kind of idea, some kind of event, some kind of proposition, okay? Even um, business proposal, just really, really good stuff here for you, Aries, for this week. Really nice stuff. Um, I'm also feeling Virgo. There definitely could be a Virgo friend, Virgo coworker, Virgo mentor, mentorship that is going to show themselves to you this week, okay, upcoming week and really help you with a lot of things here, okay? The things they could help you with is determination, logic, wisdom, and most importantly, guidance, okay? There definitely could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an earth sign, okay? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, who does come to you this week and really helps you to ground yourself, really helps you to uncover some aspects of yourself, Aries, that you may have not quite seen, okay? For a lot of you guys, this could have already happened already or is, um, you know, the journey has already begun, so to speak. This person definitely could have um, made themselves known to you already, okay? And so what it's saying is that it's not complete. There's still things that need to be done. There's still things that are going to be happening. So still expect changes, okay? Aries, expect changes, expect communication, expect building. You see how all these like astro rings like around the sun, around this just the, the whole zodiac chart here, just everything. It's, it's really just giving me vibes of building. There's something that's building. There's something that's that's building up within you, Aries, to then release you into something amazing, okay? For a lot of you guys, this could also be a relationship I see here, okay? Uh, I'm going to say most importantly, like a mentor relationship where you are friends. You guys are both friends. Um, also, again, this is for also uh, Aries Midheaven, Okay, this video is not only for Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, exception of Venus. I'm also feeling that if you have your um, Aries in Midheaven, it's the same thing. Okay, this also applies to you. So just feel here that there definitely could be, um, yeah, this like mentorship. Uh, but but even though this person is guiding you and teaching you things, Aries, I feel that below that, there's still going to be a friendship that blossoms okay there's still gonna be like a friend like an actual friend who can grow with you in life and then on top of that the other layer of that person is like a mentor okay a guide um could even be a spiritual teacher okay i see a lot of you guys here could be going to uh, uh and you know of course religion is separate from you know spirituality um sometimes but Overall, sometimes they not only link together, you know, spirituality and religion always intertwine, always intertwine. So I do feel here for a lot of you guys, um, you know, not to offend any other religion who's watching this video uh, that has a religion that's watching this video. Uh, I do see a lot of you Aries here going to uh, like Buddhist, 
you know, just Buddhist uh, teachings and um, it feels here that a lot of you, for a lot of you Aries, uh, the religion of Buddhism, or Buddhism, sorry, I should say, Buddhism, <laughs> um, yeah, just Buddhism, right? Is that how you say it? I don't even know. Oh, it's late, guys, um, but yeah, just just Buddhism um, appeals to you, okay? Like, being a Buddhist appeals to you, um, and so I do see a lot of you guys also getting knowledge and wisdom with that. If I said that word wrong, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, so yeah, just 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 Asian religions, okay? Um, religions that have Asian roots, um, I do feel here will uh, serve a lot of you guys very well. I don't know why it's coming up here, but if you have been interested in um, Buddhism for a while, you know, and you like the idea of it, I do feel here that there's some kind of like... Um, some kind of um help okay some kind of help some kind of uh guidance with this that you may have not even suspected but it, i do see a lot of you guys here falling into your own kind of religion okay that that helps you in your spiritual life as well and it feels here that it's going to support you, okay? Everything coming up this week, everything that's been happening for the 9th to the 15th for you, Aries, it feels very supporting, okay? It feels very grounding. It feels very... Just honestly spiritual, okay? In every sense of the word. The rays around the sun speak to growth. Speak to that fiery instinct within you to do something. You Aries have a great ability to act without care, you know? Act without feeling that uh, people's judgments matter, okay? And that's a beautiful quality to have when you can just be yourself, your true self, and um, whether it's in your personal life with spiritual teachings, religion, um, which is, you know, like I said, once again, intertwined, right? Uh, always intertwines somehow. It's it's growth. It's definitely growth, Aries, okay? Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, the sun. So definitely showing here this beautiful combination of, you know, fiery instinct, acting upon something, and then this other side of you, Aries, of being grounded, being connected to the divine and being able to get things done so really good job really really good job so time here once again with this whole kind of like i'm hoping i'm saying this word right <laughs> buddhism yeah buddhism or is it buddhism i've heard it said i've heard it pronounced differently but once again this kind of like um this these buddhist teachings i keep i keep it keeps coming up here for you guys okay um, even hearing the word Zen, Zen, Zen master, Zen, the hermit card Virgo is a major arcana card. So this is really all about the journey, the work, the inner knowing that there's much more to be done here. Okay. There's, I'm even feeling that for those Aries that I'm reading for that are in retirement. Okay. Um, you know, even for you guys, it's like, you're, you're willing, you're willing to still get something done here. You're willing to still look into something here. You know, your, 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 your journey, your path is, is not finished. There's still things to be done. Okay. So what this card is saying here is that, um, you're supported. You are being propelled into a bigger, a bigger story here, a bigger, yeah, a bigger story. You know, your story is not complete, basically. So this week, this upcoming week, Aries, you could really find yourself dipping and dabbing in lots of different books here, lots of different spiritual teachers here, possibly even paying for a, you know, year in year year in advance uh, retreat somewhere. Okay, I'm getting mainly Asia. All right, and that is going to be heavily linked to upcoming events in your life that you really didn't see coming, okay? So it could be the case that, you know, years from now, you come back and see this video, 
and you're like, oh my God, you know, I was on a journey. I was finding myself. I was finding, I was realizing and finding information about myself that I really, really did not know that I needed. And so this week is just the beginning. It's just the beginning, okay? Your strength card, beautiful. Ace of Cups. So once again, this card is giving me vibes of inner knowledge, just inner knowledge, inner knowing that. I just feel a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys want me to tell you if you're on the right path, okay? And I do feel that as this month unfolds, a lot of you Aries are going to get that answer because the Ace of Wands is about new projects, new beginnings, new relationship, I might add as well, okay? Once again, partnerships, new, new, new teachers, new people that are around you, helping you, helping you move things along. Another beautiful card you have here is the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is in your weak spot. So the reason why you have this card here, such a heavy major arcana card here, is because it's saying that for a lot of you Aries, you've been fearing the future. You've been fearing what's next. You've been fearing the unknown, okay? And I just really feel here that for a lot of you guys, it's going to push you quite near to the edge, okay? All your doubts, everything good and bad, I feel is going to reveal itself to you in a helpful way, in a way that's going to help you move along. Okay, it's not it's not the easiest thing because this is the unknown we're talking about. It's the unknown. But just like you can see in this card, in this card, it's talking about another layer of knowledge that I feel for you Aries can only be experienced and understood as time goes on if that makes any sense so it's like as you're on this path as you're working hard as you're trying to connect with different people that you know you you maybe have not been in connection with before okay this could be maybe an old pastor this could be old friends uh like a, once again a religious um uh, building like a temple Somewhere that you go to, that you seek out to for for knowledge, for advice, I feel that it's going to present itself to you. Bottom of the deck, the sun, the chariot. So you're moving forward, Aries. Okay. Um, I do feel for a lot of you guys that are maybe a little bit younger, okay, like 70 down, I feel that this is... Um, talking about a car okay transportation possibly traveling once again traveling to get knowledge traveling for knowledge could even be the library okay it could be about um, sitting in the library for hours reading books I mean this is what I see and it's so amazing because it's saying Aries that seven of cups <laughs> that you have lots of options. You have so much that wants to present itself to you, okay? And I do feel here going into June, July, um, you're going to see these options. You're going to see these, uh, yeah, these options come into better view for you. You're going to be able to, over time, make your decision. Uh, I, do, I don't feel that it's a Scorpio you know energy where it's it's like you need to make the decision now like capricorn energy you need to make the decision now for you aries it's like no i need to collect evidence i need to collect knowledge i need to collect information and then you know june july you're going to start to see cycles come to a close but intuition aries is on your side intuition guides if you believe in garden angels, okay, they're with you for sure. And they're going to give you a boost, a huge boost into the end or second half of May. So 
while you're on this path, while you're bettering yourself, while you're trying to get things together, there's always going to be a voice, a feeling, right, that says to you, you're wrong. You're doing the wrong thing. But those thoughts you have to hold into captivity, okay? Two of swords. Those emotions, Aries, you have to be aware of consciousness. Because if you're not, all the wisdom, all the things that you need to know may just pass by. I feel this chariot card, Aries, is going to be the best thing for you if you are trusting the universe, if you're trusting God, if you're trusting yourself, most importantly, okay? Um, however you want to phrase universe and God, right? To each its own. To each its own. But it speaks here to the divine. It speaks here to guidance. It speaks here to a path that is now time to take, Aries. It's now time to try that thing you never tried. Talk to that person you haven't talked to. It, it's, it's that type of energy where it's up to you. It's really up to you to believe that you can get answers to your questions and that you can seek out same colors in the pictures, that you can seek out this wisdom and know that it's available for you to learn. It's available for you to understand. So for those that have been on a journey, congrats, you know, I'm happy for you. I'm happy that you're at a place where your fear is melting away. And, and I'm happy that you're at a place where you can get to the root, <laughs> you know, you can uncover your purpose for, for being here. It's, it's, it's utterly profound. It's, I, I don't have enough words to even explain how amazing this is, but you're going to have many doors open for you. You're going to have many doors presented to you this, this month, Aries, and honestly, the rest of 2018. <laughs> so this is just amazing. So you have the Ace of Cups, Ace. Ace is so powerful. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Wow. Amazing. So... Don't leave the knowledge behind as you're progressing, right? Don't lose whatever you want to call it, spirituality, knowledge, uh, religion, uh, God. Don't just whatever, whatever ties you to this anchor of feeling okay in this world, that's what I'm referring to. So as you're traveling along, right, don't forget that life is a journey life is an adventure aries don't forget this okay i'm wishing you guys so much blessing so much love and light if you would like to connect with me privately my website my email is below i love you guys take care aries. bye bye